What's up guys, this is Saul V. Um, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, if you're into modifying vehicles, tuning them, or if you're just a car person, you're probably gonna see some value in some of the DIY videos that I'm gonna be posting, or just documenting some of the uh, some of my day-to-day -day life uh, when it comes to cars. I am a car guy. I am very passionate about them. I love uh, everything that has to do with the car culture, whether it's the people, whether it's modifying the vehicles, meeting people that will help you tune your car, modify it, or people that will give you input or insight on things that you can do to your vehicle, suggestions, uh, or people that are have more knowledge, or people that have less knowledge, and that way you can share the knowledge that you do acquire. Um, it's just a great culture. Um, uh, I love the car scene and uh, I love it because it's uh, it, it unifies uh, people of all walks of life, whether it's uh, rich or poor, uh, regardless of the race, ethnic background, um, or religious beliefs of some sort. It just put, unifies people in a way that connects them to their passion, which is cars. And um, I have a new project. This is a uh, Porsche Macan S, um, and I'm going to be documenting everything that I do to it. Uh, a little bit more extensively than I've done in the past, I've shown a couple of videos of my Audi S4 project, the B8.5 uh, version of it, um, and then I also had a Cayenne Tech Guard Turbo S that I uh, recently traded both of them in to be able to, to kind of simplify uh, my finances and to be able to get a new project vehicle. I think this is going to be a great project car. Um, it's not necessarily a sports car, but it, it, it does fall into the hybrid, not hybrid, but um, that unique class of sport SUVs. Um, a lot of people don't think of SUVs as sports cars because they're bigger and they have body roll and um, they don't feel like they are, but a lot of these vehicles are very capable to be able to handle uh, most sports cars on the road, uh, not only when it comes to speed, um, but you can turn these into agile vehicles that um, that can outhandle most sports cars out there. So this is my project car. Um, I do have a soft spot for SUVs, uh, just like I do sports cars. I'm a big fanatic of German vehicles. I've owned plenty of Audis, uh, from a handful of Audi S4s um, and S6s, and uh, I've owned my fair share of BMWs as well, from an X5 to uh, uh, E39 M5 um, and uh, even though yeah, I, mean, I have had a couple of uh, Mazda RX-7s in the in the mix um, I have a soft spot for those cars uh, just because they're so small nimble they're just iconic vehicles that have so much character uh, which brings me to another point um, I like these cars because they have character to me uh, a car is an extension of that person that owns it um, some people feel like that isn't true, but in my experience, um, I feel like that it truly is. A lot of times if you talk to, for example, car salesmen, or if you talk to any type of salesman, they judge the people that, uh, you know, walk to their businesses by the car that they drive. A lot of people judge you uh, or make an idea of who you are by the vehicle that you drive, uh, whether it's just a simple, in an economic vehicle that you know says that you don't really care about cars but you do care about economy or fuel efficiency and things like that you might drive a Prius so to you you know saving money might be a priority uh, you know, if you have a big SUV or a minivan it says that you have a family that, that you know that you want to have a vehicle to be able to fit them in um, people that drive sports cars or two two-seater cars you know might say that you are at that point in your life where you don't have any kids and or you're at a point in your life that you have a different vehicle for that purpose but you have you like a fast vehicle uh, in any event um, in my case the cars are an extension of who I am because I like to modify them to reflect um, my taste in vehicles. Um, I don't necessarily buy cars because I want to show off or because I want to uh, ha have a certain appearance to the world. No, that's totally not me. I like cars that have character. I like cars that 
that are unique in its own way. Uh, have you ever seen an old school classic car that just looks very, very clean? And whenever you see it drive by, you just like, wow, that is such an iconic vehicle. Um, so that speaks volumes. Like, it, it, regardless of whether you like cars or not, you can appreciate the 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 lines of the vehicle or just the the, the time frame that the vehicle was made that just captures a certain decade or a certain age, um, and it speaks volume to the vehicle itself. Um, that's what I like. I like cars that have character of their own. Um, I feel like it's it's so unique in a world where everything is cookie cutter, where everything is made the same. You have townhouses that are made the same. You have houses that are made the same. Neighborhoods that look the same. Um, I think it's important to have some sort of individuality. And to me, my cars are that individuality, that thing that sets apart. True story, I've had friends that have ran into me in completely different states across the United States. Um, Charles, this is a shout out to you out in Washington, D.C. Um, I remember him uh, coming up behind me um, at a chicken place, a Peruvian chicken place in Arlington, Virginia. And uh, he said to me, I drove by and I saw an Audi S6 sitting outside. And I knew that when I, when I drove by and I saw the car, I knew it was you. Even though I did not know that you were in Washington, D.C. at that time, he saw the car, went in to see who was driving it because he felt like it was my vehicle. So that to me says that my car, it's an extension of myself. Um, and uh, this project, this channel essentially is going to be documenting this very same thing. That process the, turns this car into my own vehicle. Something that is an extension of what I'd like my vehicles to look like or to add character that shows that, yes, that is Saul's car. Um, that's what I like. Uh, a lot of car people can relate to this. Um, you see it at car shows all throughout the United States or the world for that matter. Uh, where people, you can find people that are, that, that, that can relate to this. So hopefully a lot of those people are going to be um, contributing to this channel. I'm going to be meeting a lot of people in the process and you guys are probably going to become part of this channel. I'm um, just a car guy, man. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm just a car guy meeting other car, car people and uh, I'm just going to share my passion to the world. So here, here it is. Mm-hmm.